Well, I thought the vice presidential debate kind of sucked. I mean, it was certainly more civil than the presidential debate, but they both avoided answering questions. They both skirted around a lot of questions. Now, some of the way that it was moderated was in favor of Kamala. I don't see how anyone could watch the debates and not see that. Some of the questions were asked in such a way that Pence would want to defend his position, and he wasn't really given a chance. So instead of answering some questions that he got asked, he ended up trying to spend that time that he's supposed to be answering the questions he's asked in defending some of the things that Kamala had said. Now, again, they they both did their fair share of avoiding answering questions, but uh, Pence spent so much of his time just trying to defend against something that was previously said. I don't think these debates are very helpful, honestly, because they don't let people really fully defend themselves, either side, really. I mean... They, when they say things like, oh, uh, defend your side, you have 15 seconds. It's like, you got to give me a fucking break. That's, that's stupid. You can't defend shit in 15 seconds. You can't defend shit in 30 seconds. You know? Unless you already somehow in your mind have everything crafted in a sort of a Twitter sort of fashion, you know, soundbite sort of fashion. Yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to defend yourself in 15 seconds. It's just stupid. You know, I really wish that there was a debate where people have all the time they need to defend their side. I don't think these debates should be, you know, they should, oh, let's set it up to be limited to an hour and a half or two hours. It's just like, you know, let it go on however long it needs to go on to, to talk about the subjects that need to be talked about. I'm sure all of the 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 network uh, networks that are showing the, the footage can handle having something that they don't know how long it will last. I mean, they do that at, they've done that at the Oscars. They've done that at, at award, different award ceremonies. So why can't they do that during these debates? You know, I really do wish there could be a, uh, a debate between Biden and Trump, uh, moderated by Joe Rogan. Of course, we know that nothing like that will ever happen, and there's not going to be anything ever come, that even comes close to that. It's going to be this thing where nobody can really explain their position thoroughly, can never defend their position thoroughly, and both sides will think that their side won. And that's just kind of how it goes. Now, I kind of view this debate as... And, and, and I'm biased, so I view this debate as Kamala having won it. Um, I think she, she was able to handle the format better than Pence was. So, you know, in that regard, she won. She didn't, she didn't interrupt or try to interrupt nearly as much. And she wasn't having to constantly defend her position. She did at times... But it wasn't this thing where every response that she made, well, you know, most responses that she made didn't start with defending something that was said last. But then again, some of that is because of the format of the questions, the format of the debate to begin with. So, as I said in the beginning, the debate kind of sucked. But... uh at least it was more civil. I guess that's all I have to say about that. You know, when when a fly in Pence's hair ends up being the most talked about thing, you know the debate kind of sucked, so... <laughs> <laughs>